everyone, welcome back to another video. We're doing something pretty different today. We're at Clapton Gear and we're going to be cleaning out the log flume. Let's go check it out. So yes, the guys at Clacton Pier called upon the pool squad to come and clean their log flume, which opened in August 2020 and sits on top of what used to be a killer whale and dolphin pool. There's a lot of water to drain out before it gets clean, 150,000 litres, so they got that done the day before we turned up. To me, banners, pool bro trucks are going to get the job done. We're wearing a bit of a deep end here, so I'm pressure washing that way, but it's all coming back. So Ollie's here now with a squeegee. Let's not brush it towards I'm my feet. just testing it out. <laughs> We're all going to try and push it all the way over there to the main sumps and then pump that water out and then work our way back that way. Hopefully get it as clean as we can. Ollie's come prepared, look, in the Air Force One. You've got to be wearing the best gear for these sort of things. <laughs> Definitely going to have some wet socks. Hey, Timberlands, what's it, the 2001? They're gone, man. Coming back. Well, not by you. Cleans up all right. I mean, normally on pools on the waterline, you do get quite a dark mark, but this one's quite stubborn. So we sprayed some cleaner on there. Aaron's gone back to the van to get a broom. Gonna agitate it, and then hopefully the jet wash gets most of it off and it comes up nice and clean. <laughs> Beat that. <laughs> Look at the difference, so much better. It's coming up nicely. Not bad. Not bad, not bad. You've done this before. So this is the deepest part done, where all the water keeps falling back. So we're gonna keep trying to push it down towards the sumps. We're gonna step over this part now and start jet washing over here. There's quite a bit of debris, so gotta get that gone. Your hat will leave it uh, lost and found here. Yeah. Who'd have thought a hat would come off on a log flume? Baffling, that is. Honestly, that took me about a minute and there's probably about a thousand meters of this, so it's gonna be a long day. to check it out from the top of the log flume and didn't quite think about how big this job was going to be. It's taken a lot longer than I thought but we'll get it done. Honestly 
where the hell is Aaron and Ollie? They've been gone for ages. What the hell? Actually looks quite fun. Might have to go give it a go myself. Day one done. I think we've got the worst of it cleared up. The boys have worked hard. So we're gonna go chill out for a bit, relax, come back tomorrow morning, get that pit cleared up, that's where all the dirt's gone, and then hopefully finish up and then get this refilled. Day two then, back at the log flume. The weather's not as good as it was yesterday, but not too bad, we're gonna carry on still. We're gonna clean the pit out, it's quite bad in there. Hopefully won't be here too long today, but we'll see how it goes. Now I might have to get like a plastic shovel, put it in a bucket and take it out. Aaron, you need to down here for a sec. Honestly, just can't get the workers these days. I'm here doing it all myself. Oh, there's Ollie, not doing a lot. Coming up nicely though. We're um, tubing out most of the water, obviously getting debris up as well, but we're gonna get the jet wash, come along, clean it nicely, and it's gonna look good. So that is our part of the job done. The crew here are going to take over, get it filled up so it's ready for you guys to come down and use it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow, and holly your boy for the peer work. Yeah. 